everybody. Uh, Connor and I were, uh, were wondering what this invisible trailer was all about, so we finally got the camera, got it installed. Don't worry, we didn't do it ourselves. We had a professional do it, but uh, then we got everything calibrated so it was ready to go, and we just wanted to show you uh, a couple of the trailering applications with the new Sierras. Um, I myself trailer about once every 10 years, so I have massive anxiety when I'm trailering, and I know a lot of you act tough, but I guarantee you know what I'm talking about. You hook up that trailer, and as soon as you start going down the road and you see other cars, you start to get worried. So I just wanted to go through this. I'll say you're new to trailering or you're new to trucks, or even if you're not, you'll find this beneficial. Um, so first, yeah, we have hooked up the trailer, and we have created a name, so we named it Snell. And we drove it for a little bit, shows the fuel economy that we got on that drive, the transmission temperature. You can check the connections, you can do a light test, and that'll go through um, all of the lights to make sure that everything is working. Um, things that you maybe forget, tire pressure sensors. Uh, some of the new trucks can come with the uh, trailer tire pressure sensors as part of the package, and then you can install those and keep track of that as well. Um, and then uh, brings you back here, checklist. Super nice. Again, new to trailering or not, it's just a great reminder. So you can click through this way to see all of them, or you can click this information, and this, I think, is the way to do it. I mean, really, I see this and I go, got it, I know how to hook that up, okay? And it tells you, check for correct installation of hitch. Next, make sure that it's level here, raise the trailer using the tongue jack until the tongue height, so check, got it. And then you have a camera view that looks like this, so you know exactly when you're over it, so you, you could do it by yourself, you don't need any help. And then it shows you how to uh, secure the coupler with the latch there. And then, of course, plugging in the electrical connector for the lights. And then here's your uh, test lights, and we won't go through that, but obviously you know how to do that. You can download an application for your smart smartphone, which I would recommend, because then you can do that from outside the vehicle. Otherwise, you can do it this way just as well. Don't forget to hook up the chains. Um, retract the tongue jack. I mean, again, let's just say you're going to borrow somebody a trailer that trailers like me once every five to ten years. You probably want to make sure that they go through this list before you let them take your trailer. Remove the chocks so you don't jump right over them. Uh, adjust the mirrors so that you can safely see around the trailer. And then uh, check the brake controller. So, done. I've got everything set up. I'm ready to go. Here we have selected the trailer that we hooked up to the vehicle. And then in the settings, um, every time that we hook up this truck to the trailer now, we're going to have it, it's going to detect it and it's going to make sure that we select a trailer. So whether it's a guest or any of the trailers we have here, it'll, it'll set that up. Maintenance alerts, we want that on. Uh, theft alert, we want that on. So if somebody disconnects our trailer from our truck, it's going to do the same thing it would do if somebody was trying to break into the truck. So if, uh, if you have trucks connected to trailers overnight, construction sites, etc., and you'd want something to tell you on your smartphone, um, or you want to hear it outside your home, that's a fantastic feature in itself. Uh, tow haul mode reminder, so it's going to remind you to put it into tow haul mode when you connect the trailer, and then a trailer length indicator, of course, is on for this setup. Uh, now the cameras. So um, that you'll see is the invisible trailer. So you can see the bottom half and you can see the top half, you can see through it, okay? There's a car that's driving by, so you'll see it a little bit on the bottom and you'll see it on the top. You'll see that it's kind of distorted because it meshes in all of all these different camera views to make that, but uh, on the highway you'll see how it's very beneficial. So starting here, you can see this is your backup camera, so you can see uh, your, your trailer setup, make sure everything's hooked up, makes you comfortable. You can see what's in front of you as well. and. Uh, you can add guidelines, so if you're pulling forward for some reason, really close to the edge of something, to make enough room to make a turn, uh, you have that option. Here you can see a front end view, so you can see exactly where you're pulling into. Um, it's like an overhead view, so if you're uncomfortable pulling into a tight spot. And the same thing behind you, so it's an overhead view of the front, overhead view of the back. Whether it's a trailer or you know just uh, a, a tight area, you can look at it that way. And then this is kind of an augmented reality. That's, if you look really close, you can see, no, it's not actually me in there, but you, this is what it would look like if there was a camera pointing out, which is pretty cool. And uh, this is, is gonna give you a camera down both sides. And this is gonna be a very popular camera view when you're driving down the highway, just to make sure you're staying in between the lanes and the road. But if you are turning right or turning left, that anxiety is, I don't want to clip that car or that pole, I, don't, I gotta take, how wide of a turn do I have to make? I'm coming out of an alley, that kind of thing. And then you can see your front tires. So Connor, if you turn the steering wheel, 
you'll see how your, your tires will turn. So that'll help you if you're pulling close to a curb or again, you don't want to, those are some nice wheels. You know, if you, if you don't want to chip them up, you want to take a look. And uh, here, that gives you the option of having the 360 degree as well as an additional camera view like we talked about. And then when you move over here, you have, like we said before, both sides. You can see down both sides. You feel pretty comfortable. And then uh, this is going to be the camera view from on top of the trailer, that auxiliary camera. And then you can see the tilt of the trailer with the truck there. And then switching back is the invisible camera, or excuse me, invisible trailer. If you do have a fifth wheel, there is a camera that shows in your gooseneck or fifth wheel hitch back there. But if you just have cargo back there, obviously you want to make sure that it's secure. And while you're driving on the highway, it's nice to know. And then this is, I mean, hooking up a trailer 101. Again, I'm by myself. I don't want to get out or run into. If anybody has ever put a small dent in the rear bumper, they know that they have to replace the entire chrome bumper and it's very expensive. So this will help prevent that, but this will help you do everything by yourself if necessary. So now we're gonna go ahead and have Connor drive and we can see how some of these cam reviews look in a practical setting. So go ahead and go straight out of here. So this is one that I didn't show before, but this is going to be uh, a cam review of on top of the trailer that's looking behind us, okay? And again, you have anxiety, you wanna see the cars, how close are they behind you, what's coming up. You can see behind the trailer, not just behind the truck. And then you have both sides of the trailer on that camera view. Click it again and it takes uh, that center piece off. And then you'll notice that uh, that right side jumped and made was made larger because Connor took a right hand turn. Taking a left hand turn, same thing will work, but then it will focus on that area. So this is one of my favorite things they added for uh, the 2021 Sierras is you'll see that red box, that is your trailer. So again, trailering anxiety, you're driving down the road, you're thinking about merging in traffic and you're like, I think I can see, I think I'm good, the blind zone says I'm good, you know, but it's, it's a big trailer and you're not used to it. Um, when you put that blinker on, it'll automatically bring that screen up to let you know if you're good to go. So if it's a busier highway, it's going to be a huge relief. So now you see how you only see the right side when Connor turned the vehicle to the right. And then it'll bring back the invisible trailer. So, you know, you wanna go back and turn your radio on and, and do some things like that. That's why they have the driver information center and all those steering wheel controls to make those adjustments. All right, so when you're driving down the road, you'll see a timer right here with some of the camera views time out. So you'll notice this one times out because it doesn't want you staring at uh, what's in front of you while you're driving or what's behind you for too long. So there's a good reason for it. But again, it's a fantastic quick view that you want to look at. We bring back that view we talked about and then back to the invisible trailer. So uh, again, another one that'll time out is what's in that box. You want to make sure all the connections, you thought you heard a loud noise or a clunk, you can check it. But most of the time you'll be taking a look at that. So. Just wanted to go through a few, few of the things that you get in a new Sierra. Um, and then uh, if, for those of you that have the trucks and maybe weren't aware of how to set this up, it's really, really simple once you set the trailer up. It's kind of a set it up one time and you're good to go forever type of deal. And if you have multiple trailers, you just set up the names and as soon as you hook up the trailer and jump in, it says, hey, which trailer are you pulling today, Connor? And he'll click a button saying which one it is and it's already measured and calibrated. So if you have any questions, please feel free to bring in your truck and trailer here to Snow Motors. We'll, we'll be glad to help you set it up as well. All right, thanks.